Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now in this video, I am going to be sharing with you my bull market uh, yield farming strategy, what I'm personally doing right now with yield farming. But before we get into it, could please hit the like button, subscribe down below if you want to, and turn the notifications on so you don't miss a future video. Make sure to go follow me over on Twitter and join the Discord servers, link to in the description. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I am not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Always do your own research and be very careful about what you're investing in crypto and DeFi because it is the riskiest stuff in the world. With that said, let's jump into it. So the market, as you can see, is pretty stable. Um, I think Bitcoin did drop to around 95,000 last night, something like that. XRP is on an absolute tear, 42% today, 90% over the last seven days. Now, I know people have been holding this for many years, so congratulations to those of you that have been patiently waiting on XRP. I haven't, I've never really held XRP. I did a trade on it, just a quick kind of couple hour trade that made me a uh, about 30, 40, 50% profit last year. But other than that, I don't really touch XRP. I never really have. Anyway, whole market's doing well. Yield farming. So the majority of my bags are on base and they are in aerodrome. Okay, the main, the two main positions that I'm in at the moment is WETH and USDC. And that is currently receiving 87.9% APY, uh, APR, sorry. And then we have WETH and SUI producing 178% per year as well. So that's around, what's that? 30, about $70 in rewards right here. 75, almost $80 in rewards. Okay, which is great. So what can, what's the strategy? So yes, there's two ways, three things you can really do. If you're on aerodrome, there's three things you can do. Okay, you can take these aero rewards, sell them, and sell it for USDC, cash it out, use it as a cash flow kind of business, which is, you know, pretty smart. That's what I do, uh, have been doing. It's one of the strategies. You can take this arrow, claim it, save it as arrow. You can come ahead and lock your arrow up. Okay, you're going to get 7.9% APR. Okay, just for locking it. I've got 3.6 here. I can claim and lock. And then what you can do is you can come over to vote. And you have lots of different positions that you can actually go ahead and vote for on the incentives. So I'm currently voting for Weath and Sui, and I earn $15 every single week just for voting with that. Now, the good thing about this is I got a pretty big airdrop. For, well, not pretty big. I think it's worth like two grand right now or something. But because I was involved in Velodrome on the um, uh, OP network, Optimism network, um, I got an airdrop of Aerodrome. So you can see I make 51% voting APR on that, which is about $15 a week with my two, I think it's like 1.5 to two grand, which is pretty cool. So one way to do it is taking, you know, putting into liquidity positions, you know, I'm in blue chips, so we with and then with and USDC. So you could take these rewards, you could go ahead and lock them up. Okay, and then you can vote. And then each week, you're going to get yourself some voting rewards. As you can see here, we got $30 in Weath and Sui. I've got you know, $50, $60 on this arrow and OVM position when I was yield farming that. And I also have about $10 in here. So this is about, you know, $100 almost in rewards just for, you know, passively doing absolutely nothing and voting each week. So that's a strategy. You could take these rewards, lock it up for four years, vote each week and get incentives and make about $15 a week doing that. You could take these arrow rewards, which again, this is about a week's worth of rewards on these two positions. So it's nothing insane at the moment to be honest i don't have a huge amount yield farming on aero um but i'm still adding to these i'm looking at doing a pretty big five-figure deposit very very soon just closing on a deal outside of crypto and then i'll be putting that back into yield farming uh which will generate uh, you know a, a, a decent yearly salary if we're looking at these average aprs of between 60 and 100 and 200 percent almost right uh, of course, when I do that, that will be a, a large amount of money. So it will be sort of pretty safer pools because I don't really want to risk like a, a large chunk of it. Of course, I'll, I'll save, you know, a decent amount um, for risky positions, but the majority of it will be in safer positions, um, you know, between 50 and 80 percent a year sort of thing and uh, kind of leave it at that. That's another way to do it. OK, and then or what you could do is you could take these aero rewards and you could go over to a website. You could take it and put it over on a website such as 
extra finance and you can lend out your rewards. So Aero Rewards are currently producing 12% APY. I only chucked 23 in here just to test it out. And, you know, you can earn extra tokens with this. You can also buy cover for your positions, which is pretty cool. You can sort of insure your positions, which, again, is, is pretty awesome against, like, DAP exposure and stuff like that. Or you can go ahead and claim it to another, you know, asset such as USDC, get 15% a year on that. Uh, CBDC, so you can actually get 5% yield on Bitcoin for lending that out, etc. You know, you can lend out tokens on here, one of the highest one being 200% a year. Um, this is going to be pretty risky, though, and it probably won't last for very long. But you get the picture. You can come ahead and lend these things. You can go ahead and take those rewards, you know, these extra rewards, and you can stake them to get extra yield. Or you can just come over to the yield fine positions and you can actually get yourself some leverage. Um, if you are if you know what you're doing with the leverage, you have to be very careful with leverage because it is risky. But you can go ahead and get yourself some leverage. You know, you can leverage yield farm here and, uh, you know, you can earn passive rewards and then you can lend out those tokens. So there's a lot you can do with this. Another example of what I'm doing, that's with Aerodrome. Another example with what I'm doing is over on um the sui network on turbos i am farming sui and usdc you can see i have 26 dollars of rewards here i am out of range on this position 325 to uh, 330 to 425 it's currently down at 325 so again i i use a 72 hour rule if it doesn't go back in position within 72 hours then i do go ahead and rebalance it but 26 dollars in rewards in maybe three days isn't too bad um, you know, if you take a look at some of the APRs on here, you can kind of get 210% APR on Sui and USDC, which is the position I've been in for a very long time. If you remember, I did have almost 10K in this at one point, but you can take these rewards, okay? And what I do is I claim it and I sell it over. So you can do two things. You can either leave it in Sui and USDC and you can come over to a website such as Alpha Finance. I only have $200 in here at the moment, just testing it out. But you can come ahead and lend your tokens. So you can lend SUI for 18% APY, which is pretty cool. Um, you can lend USDC for 21%, or you can do uh, USDT for 42% APY, which is pretty cool. Now, these come in the form of um, alpha tokens, and you can go ahead and collect them. Now, what happens when you collect these tokens is it gets locked into the alpha vault. Um, so do be careful on that. Let's, let me show you how this works. So it says I'm going to receive 1.26 alpha. I don't know how accurate that is, but let's try it. So we're going to go ahead and claim this 0.5 alpha rewards. And it's going to show you my alpha staked. So if we see it locked here, it should say um, some sort of locking because I have just claimed it. I haven't done it before. So let's go ahead and have a look and see what happens. So it does go ahead and lock your alpha tokens up. And there is an unlock time. You can see the unlock time is 8th of March 25. But you can go ahead and unlock them instantly. And you do pay a 50% penalty. This is only 12 cents. I'm not going to bother with 6 cents. But again, I do only have $200 in here. And it's only been in there for a couple of days. Um, so that's why I did that. So I do have... So what I'm, what I'm doing is I am taking these rewards here. I personally like to convert it into USDC because, again, this is cash flow that I'm taking. So I like to lock in the cash flow, come over to a site like this and lend it out. You know, you can lend this for an additional 18% APY on your rewards. Or if you want to cash it and, you know, convert it into USDC or USDT, you can get 20% up to 43% in re additional rewards just for doing that which is pretty cool. There are, of course, other tokens. There are, of course, other websites other than AlphaFi. Um, but this is just one of the ones I'm using. Pretty simple, okay? So essentially, one strategy here is to take your rewards from Aerodrome. If you're farming on Aerodrome, lock them up, get voting incentives. You could simply take these, sell the reward, sell the Aero rewards, take it as cash flow. You can take the Aero, go ahead and lend it over on something like Extra Finance and get yourself an extra 12%. Same thing on, on different networks, you know, on turbos, exactly the same thing. Taking the rewards, either taking it as cash flow, which I have been doing. I've got $600 or so in here that I have not done anything with. So I put $200 over here just to test it. And, you know, you can generate, if you're keeping it in SUI, you can generate 18% on that. USDC 20, USDT 43. Get yourself your rewards. You can go ahead and collect them. Of course, there's nothing for me to collect right now. But you can come over to the airdrop and you can see your locked alpha tokens, um, which you have in the vault. 
Okay, so pretty simple stuff here. If we go over to, um, if we go over to Alpha, which where is that gone? Uh, I I don't know. What, here it is Alpha locked. Okay, you can see my locked Alpha is there. Maybe the wallet's bugging. I don't know, but you you get the picture, right? There's a lot of information here. I know it is pretty simple when you get the hang of it. Um, I know again it is you know kind of a bit confusing when there's a lot going on. But it's simple, you know, you're taking your rewards and you're getting yourself additional yield on that. So that is it for this video. I know a lot of information. Um, there is one other thing that I will show you here. And that is over on VFAT. Um, you can see I've got $200 deposited just to test this out. This was a VFAT position. Um, you know, it just has a 5% width and it's generating me 99% a year on WEATH and Bitcoin. Um, so it's earned me about um, $1.71. It's making about 53 cents a day. Again, I'm just testing this. I only put $200 in as a test um, just to see, you know, kind of what the, the, the fees like, what the rebalance is, is like and all that good stuff. So I may go ahead and do that additional large deposit into a position like Weath and Bitcoin because, again, it's pretty safe. You know, if you, you've got Weath and Bitcoin in your position. So if any impermanent loss happens, I'm happy holding Weath and Bitcoin. That is the majority of my bag anyway um so there's a few strategies for you you can take the rewards leave it as cash flow put it into other position other coins that you think is going to go up you know you could take the rewards lend it and generate yourself additional yield there's a lot of things you can do but there's a few strategies i know a lot of information if you need any help if you want any sort of uh any questions that you want to ask you can reach out to me. There's links in the description to Twitter, Discord, and all that good stuff. So reach out to me over there. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.